Hello, this is RR from FinSuite, and in this video, we go over the FinSuite CMS library for Webflow. And more specifically, we're gonna do an overview of all the tools that you have at your disposal with the FinSuite CMS library. These tools can take your website CMS to the next level and make your Webflow CMS FinSuite. So now let's go over the different tools at your disposal, at your arsenal, at the FinSuite CMS library for Webflow. There are different tools here. Uh, this is a JavaScript library that you can implement on your CMSs to make it even more powerful, take it to the next level, make it FN Suite. Okay, so we'll go to, go ahead and go to the website and there is a great description here of all the different tools that you have complete with a page for each one of them, a clonable, a visual script writer, YouTube videos as well if you're a little more advanced in the JavaScript um, you know, knowledge. And we're actually gonna go over the clonable and the visual script writer later on. But we're gonna start with the first tool which is the combine tool now the combine tool is so that you are able to combine different collection items into one collection you see currently as it stands webflow has some limitations in their collections for example they're not able to do more than a hundred in a single collection now that's going to be difficult when you're doing stuff like filtering with uh through all of them searching through all of them within within these different collections especially if let's say you have a store and you have an e-commerce or a key, an e-commerce store with so many products or let's say you uh, have a, a website where you are, you know, having house, let's say you're a rental or real estate website and you have houses, you have apartments, you have condos, you have rentals, you have for sale and all these things. You're not able to combine these CMSs, especially when you have such a vast amount of items in your collection. Well, now with the combine tool in JavaScript, you're able to combine these CMSs into one single connection list. The next tool that we want to look at is called Load More. Now, the Load More tool is pretty awesome. It's a really simple tool and it's actually one of my favorite ones. You see, right now, Webflow CMS has a thing called pagination. Now, pagination, it uh, controls how much you can show in um in in a single page um how many of the cms items so let's say you have 20 items you can paginate it that you can only show five items at a time and then what happens is you're going to have a button in the bottom that says next or um you know that will take you to the next five items so it'll take you to the next five items and then go ahead and replace the first five items to the next five items. Well, with the load more, what you can now do is that the next items can get loaded onto the same page while the other items are still on the screen, just like with the animation here. And you're able to go ahead and add more items and load more items from your collection list onto the same page. Now you can use this, this can prevent long load times and you can use pagination, but it doesn't have to go to a different page or a new page, but instead you're still in the same page, but just loading more items. The next tool is one that's probably one of the most useful ones that you can use for your CMS, and it is called the filter tool. And this is one of the most popular tools actually in this CMS library from FinSuite. With the filter tool, you're able to filter items in a collection list based on different things. Now you can search. That's one of the things you can do. You can have different categories of filtering. You can have even radio buttons as they have here. And you're even able to select multiple categories instead of just 
one category. Um, in the first video, when we talked about the CMS, there's a page there, there's a website that we go to, which is a called Louisiana Job Connections. That has a filtering, but the thing is, you're only able to filter one at a time. So let's say if you were to make a real estate website and you want to you have a client and you've probably done this too you have someone a customer that wants to look at houses specifically the ones that are for rent for specifically the ones that are in a, uh, los angeles specifically the ones that are three bedroom specifically the ones that have two bathrooms and then specifically the ones that have air conditioning there are so many factors that you want to include there well if you have the filter tool you're able to set up these super complex filtering systems into that CMS collection. And you could already start seeing how you can combine all these tools into creating just this amazing, amazing CMS. You're able to search through these as well because of this filter. Now this one's pretty expansive. We're actually gonna split this up into two videos so you're able to learn what you can do and how you can use this tool. The next tool is a little bit similar to filter, but it's different. It's called sort. Now the sort tool lets you sort items in your collection list based on something that you make like a text content inside the item. Now Webflow does have it's some some of some sorting into its CMS, but you're not really able to do as much It's fairly limited to like, you know, alphabetical order or things like that. But with the sort tool uh, on the CMS library for Webflow by FinSuite, you're able to add more sorting factors, right? Custom sorts to control the data. You are allowing users to sort through these items even after they've applied the filters. It's really just taking the sort uh, tool for Webflow to the next level. The next tool that we wanna go over is the add classes tool. Now the add classes tool gives you the ability to add unique classes to these elements inside your collection list. You see right now with Webflow, it's kind of limited how you can style them, especially with how you want to lay them out, right? But when you are able to add classes inside your collection list, you're able to do multiple layouts. You're able to do different things. For example, you can create what is a traditional layout in websites, like a left, right, flip layout, where the image is on the left, text is on the right, and then flip it where the image is on the right, text is on the left. You can do irregular cards and kind of just go you know, everywhere and do whatever you want with it. Or you could even do something like sort of a timeline. Um, if you visit the FinSuite website and you go to the about page, it tells the story and that is a timeline layout and you're actually able to create a CMS for that. You're able to add events into that timeline or something like that. Uh, you're able to do so much things with this add classes. I mean, think about just the the possibilities it's really you know have no limits once you're able to add classes to your cms now the next tool we want to talk about is called nest nest allows you to simulate multiple nested collections on a single page what does that mean well right now webflow only allows one nested collection per page well with the nest tool you're able to add even more nests collection which is pretty much like a collection within a collection so let's say this is very useful let's say you have an e-commerce store and then you have a product you have different colors of that product you have different sizes of that product you're able to do that with a nested collection or you want to add even more you know collections inside then you're able to nest these collections together and by the way if these kind of sound complicated to you we are going to go over each and every single one of these tools um, and really uh, figure out how to use them and how to um, install them as well the next tool is called tabs and this tabs tool is very simple you're able to create cms tabs um, with your collection through the tabs tool pretty much your collections can be organized 
with tabs. This is useful for, let's say you have frequently asked questions or like a help section on a website. You'll see a lot of this frequently or even just other things that you can do where you have tabs on top and each of these tabs is an actual collection item instead of just, you know, a standard uh, web design layout. And then lastly is the anchor tool. Now the anchor tool allows you to add an anchor link in every single section and you're able to do something like this as we see here on the screen where you can uh this by the way these are frequently seen in like faq sections frequently asked questions help sections where you have the frequently asked you have the question on the left or the topic on the left but all the items are really just in one page so you click that topic and it auto scrolls you down to whatever um, section that topic is in instead of going to a new page it will just scroll you down well you're able to do that with the anchor list uh, these are like I said frequent with help pages um, you know you'll see this a lot in even like government websites right uh, where every um, every help section is in one page and you're able to add anchor links so that um, each topic on the left as you click it can go to that particular section. Now the next tool I want to show you is actually a pretty new tool that Finsu has created called Prev Next or more specifically Previous Next and we'll look at it right now. Now what Previous Next is, you see some people may not know but when you create a CMS or a collection list, each collection can actually also be its own page. So for example, if you have say a blog and you have a blog CMS, whenever you click that blog page, it takes you to that certain blog. And what Preve Next is, is FinSuite has provided you a tool where you can have a thumbnail or a button on the bottom. One will be the previous post, one could be the next post. And it doesn't, it's not limited to just blogs. You can use it for even uh, say locations or um, locations of your business, whatever like that. You have the previous collection item and then the next collection item. And with this tool, you're able to style it and modify it however you want. And Fintry has created an easy tool for you to be able to implement this. We have a tutorial that you can follow step by step on how you can implement this on your collection. Now Webflow has its own slider tool as well, but one of the things about the Webflow slider tool is it's not CMS, which meaning it's not dynamic. So if you have a client that maybe doesn't know much about Webflow and you want them to be able to update it, well, they're gonna have to go through some learning process or learning curve in order to add things to that slider. But with this CMS tool that um, FinSuite has created, you can make your slides dynamic. And whenever someone needs to add a new item to that slider, all they have to do is add a new collection item and then add whatever needs to be added. And there you go, you have a new item. It makes it so easy, makes it so um, just easy to update and you can update anytime. And we have a step-by-step -step tutorial that you so you can learn that. Now the next tool is actually pretty fairly new and it's called pagination. Now you may ask, doesn't Webflow already have its own pagination and yes they do and what pagination is is let's say for example you have about 12 collection items but you don't want to show everything in one page so then you want to let's say show three at a time right so then what you do is you paginate it to showing only three items per page and then what happens you only show three and there's a next button below and you press next and it shows the next three and it's pretty effective it's pretty cool but FinSuite has decided to take that to the next level and what this pagination tool is is instead of it just showing next and then when you click on the next one all it shows is previous and next instead it's going to have numbers on the bottom so it can show you exactly how many pages are there going to be now of course if they're going to be like a ton of pages let's say like 100 pages you know some of those are going to be dot 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 and you've probably seen those in some websites um, and so when and then there's gonna be an arrow uh, to go to the next one and when you go to the next one it's gonna be an arrow to go to the previous one so it's an upgraded um, pagination button instead of showing just next or previous and next it actually shows numbers and it'll show you where you are in this collection and it's a super easy way for you to implement this to your website 
There are so many tools that you have available for you to use so that you can take your Webflow CMS to the next level using the FN Suite CMS library for Webflow. On the next video, we're going to show you two things that you want to keep in mind and you're going to be going back regularly. These are going to be your best friends, which are the visual script writer and the how to clonable created by the team over there at FinSuite so that you can use these tools and learn how to use them and implement them on your website. That's FinSuite.